Welcome back. It's not a record anyone really wants to see. The first weekend of June on Nevada's roadways marked as one of the deadliest in state history. The Office of Traffic Safety seeing that weekend with 12 deaths over seven days. Joining us now live to talk about this and more, 13 Action Traffic Anchor Zora Asbury. Zora, a lot of factors at play here. That's right, Dave. I'm joined live with Andrew Bennett. Now he's with the Office of Traffic Safety and Memorial Day proved to be a very fatal, unfortunately, day and weekend. Talk more about how that weekend really affected traffic. This Memorial Day weekend that we just experienced was the start of the 100 deadliest days, and unfortunately it was extremely deadly. We saw 12 fatalities in just seven days, and a lot of those were during the weekend. And all of these crashes were 100% preventable with just a little common sense. And unfortunately, it seemed that, you know, we had a deadly start to those 100 deadliest days. Now, it's one of those situations. Not only was it a holiday weekend, but it also is the pre-pandemic or post-pandemic uh, opening up of Vegas. And so we're seeing a crazy influx of people, which means more folks on the roadway. So does that play a factor? Absolutely. One of the things that we saw was that the idea that we were, we're currently up 30% in our fatalities year to date. And a lot of people are saying, well, that's just because we had you know reduced fatalities during the pandemic. That's not true. We're now in two consecutive years of having an increase, and we need to make sure that we keep this in check and that we try to work towards that ultimate goal of zero fatalities. Now, what were some of the reasons for these fatalities and these crashes? Was it drinking? Was it texting? I mean, what were some of the major things? Impairment and speed were definitely the number one and number two that we saw during this holiday weekend. You know, we saw extreme examples of, you know, people going over 120 on a side street on Russell just up the street here. And we also saw too many folks being impaired behind the wheel, and that's going to be a deadly combination. Now, Andrew, as we go into, of course, the summer months with a lot of tourists here and then also Labor Day weekend, what are some of the things that you would advise drivers, whether they're from here or not, to do? Number one is, you know, enjoy yourself here. We live in the greatest city in the world and we want you to have a great time. But with that comes responsibility. We want you to plan ahead. That's going to be our number one advice that we have. You know, whether it's rideshare, you know, Uber, Lyft, public transportation or a sober friend, we want to make sure that you have that plan in place so that we can get you and your friends home safely at the end of each day. All right, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Andrew. So once again, he's a part of the initiative Zero Fatalities. The goal is to have zero fatalities on the roadways, and the best way to do that is to drive safe. Back to you guys.